Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to briefly explain what my workplace looks like and what basic equipment is necessary for the post-processing of your photos. The most important device, and besides your camera, of course, is your computer. Basically, you have to decide, am I only interested in photography or would like to edit videos? Depending on that, you should not be stingy with processor memory and graphics card. A 20 megabyte RAW file can be edited very well on an Intel Core i5 with 8 GB of RAM. If your files get bigger or video comes into play, I would use an Intel Core i7 with at least 16 GB of memory. You should also make sure that you have a good graphics card such as a GeForce GTX or Radeon RX. If your wallet allows it, you don't store your data on traditional hard drives but on an SSD. Then there's the question of whether you are using a stationary computer or a laptop. Since I travel a lot, I decided to use a laptop. I own a Dell XPS 9570 with an Intel Core i9 processor, 32GB of RAM and a GTX 1050 graphics card. This brings us to the next item on the agenda, the display and its color spectrum. The color spectrum as a measured variable provides information on how many colors can be shown on a display. The larger the color spectrum, the more colors are displayed, which in turn means fuller and richer colors. The perception of the human eye cannot be achieved by any display. The best solution available on the market is displays with a color spectrum of 100%. If a display has a color spectrum of 100%, it is usually referred to as Adobe RGB. For you, this means the further your display reaches 100% sRGB or Adobe RGB, the better. By the way, should you also own a Dell XPS device with a 4K display, you might be affected by a small error that supernatural saturates the colors. How you fix this, I have recorded in a video. You can find the link in the top corner. At my workplace you can currently see three displays. A Samsung 34 inch display that I only use for surfing and writing, my Dell display from my laptop and a 10 inch display on the side. This is controlled by Raspberry Pi and gives me some information. As a photographer I am of course interested in the weather, temperatures, rain and cloud radar. So I can see right away if it's worth to get up early the next day. Another great tip I learned from Stefan Wiesner, print out your pictures and hang them on the wall. In my case, I have a special spot on the picture so that the glances are directed to the picture. Why is that important, you ask? You enjoy the picture every day, which motivates you to continue. As a tool of my choice for Photoshop, I decided to use a Wacom graphics tablet. Working with a pen makes editing my images a lot easier. 
you can get a tablet of this size for around 100 bucks. But it takes some practice to handle the pen. But once you have overcome this hurdle, you will never want to work without a graphics tablet again. I hope I could give you a small overview of what hardware is important for your hobby. If you have questions, suggestions or criticism, just leave me a comment. I'm very happy about every subscription on YouTube or Instagram. You can find a link to my feed in the description. And don't forget, enjoy your beautiful pictures.